hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure ospf protocol open shortest path first right so guys in the previous class we learned some theory parts on ospf and suppose you have not watched that class kindly refer back to the previous class i will leave a link on the description part through which you can access that class and make sure you watch the class so that you can understand various concepts in OSPF such as OSPF tables, OSPF packets, OSPF, pack, OSPF states, what we mean by area border router and autonomous system border router and many other concepts. Right? So let's start guys. And before we may begin our practical part, kindly guys, suppose you have not subscribed, kindly do us that favor. Alright, so we are good to go. Open shortest path first configuration. I have already drew a diagram here. As you can see, I have two routers and two LAN networks. This one and this one. I didn't make any configuration on these routers or the devices, right? What I did basically is to comment that this LAN is to access this network. The other LAN to access this network. And the interfaces between the routers should access this network and the area and what our topic is today okay so guys in this scenario what we want is that this PC on the left and the PC on the right should be able to communicate okay and for them to communicate whenever there are two or more routers we should use a routing protocol okay and in our case today we're going to use OSPF pretty much simple protocol and the most widely used routing protocol okay and the in the coming classes when we will be starting on our networking projects you will realize that 70% let's say even 80% of our projects we will use OSPF okay so take this class very very seriously and suppose you have not subscribed kindly subscribe such that when we start our major networking projects you don't miss them out because they are very very important we will be dealing with the real world network projects okay that you have received from our clients from the students assignments and many other sources okay the first configuration that i'll make to this topology here the devices are to assign ip address to host devices and the routers interfaces okay so i'll start with this router here so this interface here gig01 should access this network so it's gig01 i'll go to seal high and say no enable config t then interface gig0 slash 1 should access which network An ip address just say ip address 192.168.1.1 dot dot one let is let it take the first valid host id okay and now the subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0 255 okay and you hit enter and now the other interface is gig zero zero should access which network this one 10.10.201 and dot one okay and before that guys as you can see the routers interfaces are in shutdown state so i'll put them up with the which command no shutdown no shutdown do right and now we go to the other interface gig 00 and now ip address should be 10.10.1.1.1 okay and now subnet mask 255.255 255.252 slash 30 notation then no shut shut down and do you do right okay so I go to the second router and do the same gig 00 should access that network no enable config t then interface gig 0 0 IP address 
10.10.1.2 because the first uh, interface in router 1 took dot 1 okay and there are only two usable IP addresses here because of the subnet mask of slash 30 notation okay so just a minute so it must be 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
the first command is router or SPF or SPF then autonomous system number one okay network 192.168.1.0 okay then wildcard mask of zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five area zero pretty much simple guys and you hit enter okay another network is then not then another network is okay i'll delete this and say 10.10.1.0 okay wildcard mask of zero dot zero dot zero dot three pretty much simple guys and you hit enter now do right so we will go to the other router and configure OSPF okay so let me just go to this router again and say exit router OSPF OSPF I autonomous system number of one then network 192.168.2.0 Wildcard mask of 0 0.0.0.255 0 0 area 0. Okay, we advertise this network first. This one, okay. In this router, we advertise this network and this network. So we are, we began with this one. So I'll just hit enter and then another network should be. I'll delete this. 10.10.1.0 10 okay then we'll get mask of 0 0.0.0.3 okay a subnet mask with the slash starting notation is equivalent to wildcard mask of 0 0.0.0.3 .0 and suppose you don't know how to calculate wildcard mask kindly research about it okay all right so let enter and do right so let's just verify the SPF configuration do show start as you can see guys router SPF 1 then we advertise how many networks this one and this now okay area 0 how about so guys what we'll do is to test communication suppose this computer can be able to communicate with this computer and this one to this one so click cmd then ping it should be 2.2 2.2 so as you can see guys it's successful the two computers are able to communicate and let's try from this side to the other side ping 192.168 Okay, dot one dot two. As you can see, guys, computer three can ping computer two successfully, and the same as PC two to PC three. Okay, OSPF is a very very important concept in routing. Okay, I really like this routing protocol. Okay, and be consistent in our classes when we begin our networking projects we will be using OSPF in almost all of the projects okay because OSPF is the best routing protocol okay all right guys so that will mark the end of this class today let's see again in the next class kindly make sure you subscribe guys please support our channel we still haven't got uh, enough subscribers do us that favor guys don't close this tab without uh, giving us one subscription like our video and uh, leave a comment below bye and see you again in the next class